C-Log's wrapper flexibility allows you to configure, chain, and interchange the loggers. Creating custom loggers will extend your options even further. Let's see how it is done. We will take a look at Unity console logger to understand how a custom logger might be built. Let's open the logger factory adapter. C-Log uses the factory pattern in that the factory is responsible for instantiating your logger. In the general case, this is simple and you simply new up the logger. However, this pattern allows for more complex situations in which you may need to probe the assembly. Public variables in the adapter are visible in the editor and allow you to configure your logger. Here there are some located in the base class with various attributes. Should you need some in your derived class, simply add them here. The public variables are passed to the logger with the instance name here. They could have been passed directly, however that was slightly fragile. So we use the instance name and an interface. If we take a look at the interface, you can see the public variables. Let's now take a look at the logger itself. Some basic plumbing is done in the base class, but primarily you want to override the write internal method. It receives the log levels, the game object context, the message, and an exception. Here you see we're simply using the Unity Debug API to log on various levels. With this in hand, you should be ready to write your own custom logger and extend the ability of C-Log. Thank you. To learn more, please visit AI Unity website. You can also explore the featured products below. Be sure to subscribe to stay current on all AI Unity products. Thank you, and stay tuned to this product's playlist to complete your training.